All right, so this video, I'll show you the uh, customized operator of the Gizmo 3D operators in uh, ZBrush. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I'll choose the Dynamesh Sphere at the start, and then I'll change the resolution to 256 resolution, and I'll do a re-Dynamesh to it. So when I re-Dynamesh it, the points increase, and I know that's a success. Okay, I'll off the uh, perspective distortion on the right side, pressing P. And then the, I would start to use my Gizmo, Gizmo 3D. Okay, press W on your keyboard to activate the Gizmo 3D, which you have all these move and uh, rotation icons. Okay, press the first button from the left, customize tool. And uh, you can see all this is the different deformers. All this. Okay, so maybe now I'll just go through a few that is uh, very useful under the deformers. Okay, I'll say uh, flatten. Deformer and taper, these three are all very useful. Okay, so uh, I'll show you the first one. Flatten. Okay, you see all these orange arrows here. I just want us to focus on the orange arrows. Okay, so flatten, you will flatten from the bottom up. Orange arrow. If I want to change it, I change it to taper. Same thing, orange arrow from the bottom, I can taper it. Very, very fun. And then one more that I find very useful is the transformer. Okay, so you click on the transformer, you get the, all these different icons here. And uh, once again, I just want you to focus on those uh, orange ones. And the deformer is very useful because we get a, a control of all the points here. You also have this control if you were to use uh, Maya. Okay, you can also activate this change uh, to create all this uh, deformer. So many 3D software actually have this deformer and uh, it's very good that we see this in ZBrush as well. If you want more divisions, you can go to XYZ divide, you know, these small different arrows here and then you add more divisions. Okay, so if I want to have super a lot of controls, I can do it like this. You know, for some reason, maybe you want to create toilable, <laughs> toilable incoming. Okay, maybe you can do that. Okay, but uh, you can see it's a very powerful tool. And uh, we can change a lot of the div divisions that we have. All right. So if you want to deactivate it, you press uh, W again to go back. So it's like you go between deformer and you press W. Sorry, let me show you again. Go between the deformer. Anyway, that's not just now when you uh, you still have the deformer on mode on. Um, What's happening is that you can go between these two. So if you want the shortcut, you just press W on the keyboard and then you're switching between these two itself. W, 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 W. And you can tell that the mesh direction, uh, the gizmo direction actually changes the way it deforms as well. So the, it's pretty cool. So if I were to change this direction like this, press W, W, and then it's going this direction again. Okay, just, just uh, cool things to take note. Okay. Uh, one more thing I want to take note is uh, maybe I just want to show you the uh, all these buttons here. So by pressing one of these buttons, I'll actually change the whole mesh to one of these mesh. So it actually replaced my current mesh, which is a little bit dumb. I don't like it actually. So if I want to change this to a ring, I'll lose my sphere. So I don't actually think it's very useful. The only way you use it is to uh, mask it and then you try to insert a ring and then the the previous sphere will still be there but it's too difficult it's too many steps so what i'd rather do is i try not to learn this i don't create my uh, sphere or primitives from here i create using uh, im primitives you know i can create different imm brushes or i can press a pen to append something to the scene so for example if i want to append a create a ring in my scene. I just press a pen. It's the easiest. So I want a ring, I create a ring. If I want a sphere, I create a sphere. You know, and then I move the sphere. I move the sphere down. You know, it's more like uh, in, it makes a lot more sense to me when you use a pen to create objects here. Okay. So uh, yeah, but just know that it is also there in this uh, customized function, but I would rather use the different deformers that is very useful over here. All right. So uh, yeah, so I think that's all I have. That's uh, pretty cool to use all the deformers under customize. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.